Hi, I'm Mr. Omingyo. Okay, I'm going to go through the definition of uh, electromotive force, EMF, and the potential difference. Okay, uh, but before that, let's uh, look at the formula first. Okay, uh, let me bring you back to a formula that we have learned uh, in the earlier chapter, which is work done. We know that work done is equal to force times distance. Okay, and we can apply the same formula in, in the circuit and there's also a work done. And the force in the circuit is actually the voltage. And down here, we do not uh, push an object through a distance, but in this case, uh, the voltage actually push the charges. As we recall, right, uh, the analogy of a waterfall is actually the height that caused the water to flow down. So it's actually the voltage that, that caused the charge to actually flow around the circuit. Okay, so in this case, right, we rearrange the rearrange the formula. We have a voltage is actually equal to the work done per unit charge. And for voltage, right, it can be classified under EMF. Electromotive force is actually the total voltage of the whole circuit. And potential difference, right, can be the voltage across any two points. Okay, now let's look at the definition of EMF. Because it's the source, uh, EMF is defined as the work done by the source to drive a unit charge around a complete circuit. So it's the work done by the battery in order to drive one unit charge across the whole circuit. For potential difference, right? Potential difference must be between any two points in a circuit. It's the work done to drive a unit charge between these two points.